quickly scraping hundreds of thousands of URLs, utilizing Scrapebox, or even millions of URLs from the engines such as Google, Yahoo, and Bing is what I'm going to cover and show you in this short video. My name is Ryan Borden, and this is Scrapebox. If you don't have Scrapebox, you can go over here to scrapebox.com, roll down to the bottom, and grab your copy before the price goes back up. Also, you can check out all of the many features across here with the plugins and add-ons and that sort of stuff. Another option you have that's really great is go to scrapeboxfac, faq.com forward slash tips. And here you can get free full link tutorials, guides, checklists, and more. And I'll even show you how you can use Scrapebox to make money. So this is all completely free as well. Just go here and enter your information. So let's jump in. Basically what we need to do is we need to, I'm going to clear this stuff out so that we can begin to scrape. Now we can scrape from a lot of sources and I have obviously more videos on this channel you're watching this on that tell you how to scrape for keywords. So if you have a big list of keywords or if you have a few keywords, you can scrape up a big list of keywords. I have like 1400 right here. I'm just gonna assume that you already have it. If you don't, you can go watch the video on how to do that. As far as how to start harvesting, all we're gonna do here is make sure that we have an appropriate amount of proxies in here. Since I'm doing this as kind of like a demo, I'm not gonna use proxies, but normally you would wanna use actual proxies in here, whether those are private or public, anything will work for scraping. You may have better, better success with paid proxies and go faster, but you can use public proxies if you can find proxies that are passed for the engines you're using. Now we're going to go ahead here and just choose custom harvester. And I've got some pretty default settings in here for the connections. You can see that the harvester is set to one right here. So we're not going really fast because I'm just demoing this. Obviously you can turn that up. I'm going to hit start harvesting. We get to select our engine. So there's a lot of search engines, a lot of search engines in here. We also see at the bottom, there's different Google ones. So if you want to have like a 24 hour search or a one week search or a one month search, that sort of stuff, you can build in your own engines as well. I'm not going to go into that on this particular video, but there is information about that on the channel here. And then also actually, if you go to the Scrapebox Fact website, I have some tutorials on how you can actually build in your own engines. So Assuming here, most people use Google, Yahoo, or Bing though. So I'm just going to go with Google as an example because I don't want to go too deep into this, but you can tick off as many engines as you want, obviously, and go through here and use them. You can also here select none, select all. Now, if you select all, I will tell you not all engines. Some of these are smaller engines, and so they don't have the scope that like Google might have. So depending on your search query, they may not have any results that they return for it because they may not know of any results that are relevant for that. So I'm not going to go deep in there. Like I said, I'm just going to use Google and I'm going to go ahead and hit start here. And again, this is a, I'm running with one connection because I want to show you what's possible here, not how to do mass. So right now we can see that it's scraping away and it's already got like 500 results. And I'll show you those in a second, but I do have a video on the same channel showing scrape box scraping over 1 million URLs per minute from Google. Now you need a lot of proxies for that of course, but it is possible. Scrapebox can go even faster than that. But, you know, again, in this situation, like, a, you know, if you let that run for three hours, that's, you know, a couple hundred million URLs. Three hours is about 180. So, you know, between 170 and 200 million URLs, that's a lot of URLs to do something with. So most people don't even need that much, of course, but, you know, those are you know, a few thousand URLs or even 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, 500,000 URLs is pretty low numbers when it comes to what Scrapebox is capable of. So it scraped up 4,000 or so roughly URLs. I'm going to go ahead and stop that because we don't need to go too deep into that. This gives us kind of a report to let us know which keywords it had. And then we have some export options, which is nice. I can go ahead and export this so I can utilize this data, such as come back and get the ones that aren't done, that sort of stuff. So now, for example, I have a list of URLs. Now, there's a lot of filtering options that we have here and a lot of other options that we can do with these, like checking index for Google or check metrics on them or grab emails from them, for example, or I can get um, images from them or phone numbers from them or download files from them. I have videos on all those things here on the channel too. In this video, I just wanted to show you what's really possible. So it's actually possible to get 
thousands of URLs from Scrapebox in a fairly straightforward way. You just load your keywords over here. And of course you can import keywords. And then of course you can scrape keywords if you wanna do that and click start harvesting, select the engine you want and away you go. A couple of quick tips, the proxies box here. If you want to do an option where you use server or if you wanna do a different option where you have an auto load proxies, I mean, you have those options here. I have some other videos on how you can set up another automator instance and um, auto create new proxies being scraped, for example, automatically every X minute. So that's where you would set that up. And this use server proxies, I wouldn't use that because these are public proxies and sometimes um, it doesn't work just because it's so heavily used. It's pretty much, you know, I just wouldn't recommend it because if you get into public proxies like that, it's really hard to find ones. And what you often do is spend a ton of time finding proxies or a few proxies that die really fast. Like I'm talking like a few minutes and then you don't really get any results. So if you want a small amount of data, you can actually not even use proxies. Like I got a few thousand, no worries. If you need to get into tens of thousands, you probably want some proxies, but you can buy some proxies on the Scrapebox website. There is a uh, link for that as far as the proxies go up here, just proxy and that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy and straightforward to scrape hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, or even just a few thousand, whatever you want, URLs that are relevant to your keywords from Google, Yahoo, Bing, and other search engines. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.